Hello and welcome to Fit Mama Online with me, Marie Behenna. This is the pelvic session and in today's class I'm going to talk to you about how pregnancy affects your pelvis and your spine and we're going to cover exercises that will help to strengthen and stabilise the pelvis and the spine and also exercises that will help to release the muscles that occupy the inside of your pelvis and the outside of your pelvis so that we can make space for your baby to descend and rotate when it comes time for them to get ready to be born. So when you are first pregnant, sometimes you don't really notice the changes going on within your body apart from the obvious nausea and exhaustion. But from a physical perspective, as soon as your uterus starts to grow and change shape, this has an impact on the position of your pelvis. And so what normally happens as the uterus grows and starts to protrude out of the pelvic cavity, you'll notice that you might start to suffer with a little bit of lower back ache, a little bit of tightness in the lumbar spine area. And that will be because your pelvis is being pulled forward slightly. And so your spinal column comes up here and as the pelvis is being pulled forward slightly, so some compression takes place in that lumbar spine. And this puts pressure on the hips and the back, the knees and the ankles. And sometimes you might even feel as though your shoulder posture is taking a little bit of a brunt from that as well. So what we're going to do today are exercises that are going to strengthen the muscles at the back of your pelvis. So imagine that is your gluteal section here, and we're going to strengthen the muscles that stabilize the pubic bone. As your baby grows and relaxin is flooding your body, your pelvis starts to become a little bit too flexible around the ligaments, and so it can feel very unstable. Sometimes you will feel quite a lot of pain between the pubic bone at the front, where that little joint meets. And sometimes you can feel quite a lot of pain around the sacroiliac joint at the back. Sometimes your pain is more in the hip sockets itself. Whatever your pain is, whether or not you have the pain actually, what we're going to do today is preventative as well as something that you would do to manage any discomfort. Um, so we're going to use tips and techniques to keep on top of preventing and managing pain. We're going to try and help the pelvis not tilt quite so far forward before it really needs to. And we're going to make those muscles fire up so that they can protect you for the nine months that you're going to need it. One of your jobs in pregnancy is to help make space for your baby to descend and rotate. Now hopefully your baby's not sitting in this position. Ideally what we would like is for the baby to eventually end up nestled with its head down and its spine to the left of your belly button. So if you're looking at the screen, um, it would look like that on your side. Okay, from my side it looks like this. So if you imagine to the left hand side of your belly button is where you want your baby's spinal column to be sitting. We are trying to avoid your baby being back to back with your spine, so facing directly outwards to the front of the pelvis. When your baby is in a back to back position like this, what happens is the nape of the neck can get caught on this lip of bone just inside the pelvis. And when you're in labour, that can prevent the baby from descending and rotating into the pelvis in order for it to be born. So we're going to use some tips and techniques as well to make sure that we make enough room for your baby so that they can rotate and nestle right down and eventually come out the other side and uh, be born into your loving arms. So as you can see here by this video made by Dr. Adol Farouk on YouTube, the birthing process is very much about rotation and dissension. The baby has to use a lot of 
muscular flexion to adapt and to manoeuvre into the positions it requires. So our job is to allow the muscles to accommodate this movement by keeping them supple and malleable, but also toned so that they can contract and squeeze and help your baby to make this powerful journey out of your uterus and into the world. It's quite a stressful job for both you and baby, so we want to try and make it as easy as possible. And that is why our job is to do that with these exercises and give you as much preparation as you could possibly have before your baby is born. What a great little video. Right up until the very end, the baby is rotating and shuffling into position to release itself from the pelvis. So the modern woman has a few challenges to deal with. We spend a lot of time sitting down at desks, sitting behind our steering wheel to drive our cars, sitting down to watch television, and all of that sitting down to do our daily activities causes a lot of tightness in the hip flexors at the front of the pelvis and the pelvic floor layers of muscle that support your uterus and bladder and other pelvic organs. So we are going to spend some time today learning how to relax and release and try to help those muscles to soften and unravel. There is a lot of talk about Kegels, squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. I want to teach you how to do the opposite of that because everybody can squeeze their pelvic floor to hold in a wee or hold in wind, but really what we need to do is teach our pelvic floors how to relax so that when it comes time to give birth, the muscles can work the way we need them to work. So these are the strength and stability exercises. Use a ball or a cushion. Make sure that your feet are straight and lined up. Place your hands on your hips. Bend your knees. Stand up tall through the chest. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, squeeze your bottom and the ball and you'll notice that your pelvis rocks forward and backwards. As you breathe out, squeeze. As you breathe in, relax. This is the stabilizing exercise for the pubic bone. The side view shows you a little more detail of how the pelvis should move. So inhale as you sway back and exhale as you squeeze the ball and tuck your tailbone under. If you keep your hands on your hips, you'll feel your tummy muscles responding to the squeeze. A great exercise to do even without a cushion or a ball between the thighs. And now we're going to move into the squat, also using a ball for the narrow position. Inhale and exhale as you sit back and squeeze your bottom as you stand up. You want to use those bottom muscles to push you into standing, using the ball to keep the knees aligned. And also, when you use the ball, that helps to activate your pelvic floor and keep that pubic bone stable. So if you suffer with pubic pain, this is your squat. Try to avoid the wider positioned squats without the ball if your pubic bone is painful. This is the alternative squat or the more advanced squat. So if your pubic bone can cope, then take your feet a little wider. And I have my heels elevated on a plank so that my pelvis is in a better position as I drop down just that little bit deeper to stretch out my pelvic floor. So now it's time to release and make space for our baby. 
Sitting on your birth ball, begin to gently circle your tailbone. And really take your time on this. You don't want to rush and make small, fast circles. Just move within your natural range of motion and inhale and exhale. And really try to let your tummy muscles become soft and relaxed and almost let your baby fall down into your pelvis that you're so relaxed. Keep swaying from side to side as you rotate, making sure that your feet are secure on the ground. So as well as doing circles, you can tip your hips from left to right and try to keep that lovely mobility that we need so much of in the lumbar spine. Sitting tall with your chest up, breathing through your nose and focusing on softening the muscles. Your core has to work quite hard to keep you upright on the ball, but the seated position on the ball widens the pelvis and helps us to stretch out the tightness that the modern day life has given us in the hip flexors and the pelvic floor. So this is your go-to exercise to release and stretch and make space for your baby. You can do this in front of the television, while you're at your desk. The ball has so many uses. So when you tip forward, that helps your baby to slip into the correct position because the gravity pulls the spine down to the left side of your belly button. You might have to spend quite a bit of time practicing this to help your baby make the movement. And you can see here that I am making C shapes around my tummy to try and release the back. Coming onto the knees, we're going to release the hip flexors. These are the tight muscles at the front of our legs, at the top of the thighs where the pelvis meets. So inhale, then exhale and slide forward. Squeeze your bottom, do the same again. So slide forward and when you're in your forward position, massage the front of your thigh. That will help to break down the fascial tissue and create some warmth so that you can really release those tight muscles. This is so important if you are suffering with back pain. The muscles at the front are contributing to the problem at the back and always a good idea to do both sides. So exhale as you slide forward, squeeze your bottom, stretch and massage the front. Slip back, slide forward. Always use your breathing on every movement and really try to squeeze your bottom as you lean into that hip. And then we're going to move into a more sideways stretching release. And this is one that you can use if your pubic bone is not hurting and you have no pubic problems. This is also a really great release during labor if your baby is struggling to descend and rotate. This one will really help to make a little bit of space. And sometimes you might need to slow this down a little bit more than I'm doing in this video. Then coming onto your bottom, sit back over your heels, widen your knees and bring the ball closer to you so that you can rest against it. And this is a wonderful position for helping to release the pelvic floor by softening the muscles that control your bladder and your back passage. Really relax them here. And as you sway from side to side, we are gently teasing out any tightness that sits in the pelvic floor and the lower back. 
And of course, this is a great position to help your baby get into position for birth and also a really good position to labor in. Coming down to the floor, we're going to use two prickly balls to apply pressure to the glutes. So carefully onto your elbow, back, and then bend your knees. Lift your bottom up and pop the balls underneath the meaty part of your bottom and then slowly position yourself on the balls. Use your hands for support to the floor. Take a nice calm breath in and then as you exhale, relax your tummy muscles and allow your hips to sway from side to side over the balls. Now we don't want to keep you on your back for too long during pregnancy, particularly in the later stages, but this really is a very clever way of helping to release tightness associated with pelvic pain. You can lower your leg to one side unless your pubic bone is hurting and just allow the weight to sink onto the ball and breathe through your nose. Then as you exhale, bring the leg back and breathe in and out to lower the leg on the other side. And again, just allow the weight of your body to sit on the ball. There's no need to move in that moment. And then when you feel ready, sway from side to side again. That's really important not to drop the knees to the side if you have got pubic pain. But if you're all right, that's quite a good release for the hip flexors. Move the balls a little higher up, just to the top of your bottom cheeks. And then we're going to do a little elevation through each leg, just to stretch the gluteals out. Now, if you're feeling unstable, you don't have to do the marching. But if you feel okay in this position, then go ahead and let your breathing help you. So exhale as you lift the leg, inhale as you lower the leg. Lift your bottom up, take your balls out and slowly come to the floor. And finally, we're going to sit upright for the pelvic floor work. You can sit anywhere you like, as long as you're comfortable. Take a breath in and exhale, zip your tummy up and inhale, relax your tummy. Breathe out and relax even more. And then zip up on your next breath in and your next breath out. And with every breath, I want you to relax a little bit more and try to let your pelvic floor lower itself further down your pelvis. On the next inhalation, as you tidy up, squeeze your bladder and your back passage, and then exhale and release and let it relax into the pelvis again. So your challenge is to try and make the relaxation better than the last one every time. So I hope that's been a helpful video for you and I look forward to seeing you again in the next session. Take care.